anyone who will be interested to volunteer for Check My School will have to do three things, basically. First is access the information on education services. Second is send feedback. And third, pursue resolutions of issues. So let's go through them one by one. Accessing information means you have to go to the school, ask for the information of the Department of Education on that particular school. It could be about enrollment, teaching and non-teaching personnel, the academic and the non-academic classrooms, computer, textbooks, even toilet, and then budget. When you already have that information, you have to validate them. And we call it the community validation. So you go to the school itself and check manually those items. So you count the number of students, the number of books, the number of classrooms, the number of computers. So you practically do counting like you do counting of votes during elections. So after you have gathered or collected the information from the schools, you have to go online and encode all the information that were collected during the validation. Based on this information, we are supposed to get uh, relevant issues that are you know, present in the schools where we did the community validation. These are practical issues actually. This could be shortage in textbooks, classrooms that need repairs, toilets that are not hygienic. These are not only issues about the students and the parents. In one case, for example, one school in Rizal, we took note of the need for a more decent office space for the teachers. And we expect the communities, through the volunteers, through the intermediaries, to send feedback about them. Through validation, we found out that there were positive and negative variances, let's say, in classrooms. Positive variance means we counted more than what was reported. And it is possible because there could be donations that were not captured by the local data gathering and are not yet reported to the Department of Education. It is also possible that there are negative variances because we did not count any more classrooms or school buildings that are already dilapidated, but the schools are still reporting as a classroom. These kinds of reports uh, tell us that there is value in this kind of activity. The schools are very far from the central office and uh, community efforts to really report variances like this help the, the department uh, validate or verify data errors. The third item in the process is actually solving the issues. We call it issue resolution. We write letters to relevant offices that we think can resolve those issues. It could be Department of Education, or the local school board, or the local offices of the Department of Education. At the local level, it is the intermediaries who write the relevant offices. And then at the national level, we at the Central Office of Check My School here in ANSA uh, take care of the sending of the letter to the Department of Education. We have a three-strike rule, which basically means that we'll make three follow-ups to the letters that we have sent. If there are no responses to the follow-ups, then we resort to an NGO or a private sector, and lastly, the media. But media is our last recourse. Because this is a social accountability program, what we try to do is really extract the response from the government because it is their responsibility to ensure that the, that the, that the services are, are delivered. And we call it Operation Thank You because we also want to thank the schools who really opened up their records and really cooperated with us in doing the community validation and discussing issues with them. And we are looking forward to delivering to them the good news that the issues that they had presented eventually got some resolution. The three actions actually should become a cycle. You access information, you send feedback, you resolve issues, and the issue resolution should feed into the information on education services until you get to the point where uh, you already have an ideal environment for learning.